Hey guys, it's here and welcome to Python tutorial number 13. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at um, the second half of the functions, uh, or of the member methods I should say, the list methods um, in Python. So go ahead and open up the idle again. Uh, let's create our list of numbers once more. We'll just do 1 to 5 this time so it's easier. So where we left off was with the index method, I believe. Uh, let me, yep, with the index method. So the next method we have is the insert method. Okay. So if we call my list oops, dot insert. Uh, now this takes, as you can see, an index and an object. So the index of where you want to insert um, that the object and the object to insert and the index you give is includes a zero offset okay so to insert an element at the beginning an object at the beginning I'd put zero and then I could insert a zero at the beginning and then now if I print my list I have a zero in the beginning as you can see uh, I could insert into uh, middle uh, into place five yep into place five three point five and now if I look at my list oh whoops that didn't quite go as planned I put it in the wrong place one two three four five four five four ah okay that's why uh, let's delete my list five then um, and put my list to insert four 3.5. Now if we look at my list. Okay, there we go. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 3.5, 4, 5. And then we can just delete my list 4. Get rid of that. Um, okay, so that's the extend function. Now the next function we have, uh, sorry, not extend, insert. Um, the next function we have is the pop function. Um, now what the pop function does is it allows us to uh, remove an element from the list uh, much like using the del uh, keyword but the because the uh, pop method is a method um, it has a default which means you don't have to supply any parameters uh, so if you call just my list pop by itself and run it, uh, you can see it returns the value that it removes, and it modifies our list as well, and it removes by default the last element in the list. Um, and you can also supply it um, if you want to an index to uh, remove. Uh, so I could remove zero, and then now if I look. At my list it's just one, two, three, four. Okay. So that's uh pop. Now pop is the only method uh that modifies the list and returns a value. Um because if we if you remember there was a few methods well actually so far there's only been one method. That's the append method that doesn't actually return a value. Uh it just modifies the list. Um, uh, there was one thing though, actually, wasn't there? Um, it was something to do with adding lists. Uh, can't remember. Oh well. Uh, no wait. wait. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, remember how we talked with the extend? How um, if you call the extend method then or it, yeah if you call the extend method it wouldn't return anything but it would modify the list so you couldn't say um, make a new list and then make it equal to something dot extend something because that would extend the list you called the method on but it wouldn't return anything so the list you try to create with the new value would have a, a null value it would contain none, basically. Okay, so the next method we have is the remove method. 
um, another pretty simple method. All you do is you supply a value, a literal value. Um, well, it doesn't actually have to be literal. It could be a variable which contains a value, but you supply it a value, not an index, so that's that's what I was trying to say. Value, not an index. And it searches for the value and removes it if it exists. So if I gave it 3, my list would only contain 1, 2, and 4. If I gave it uh, 5, it would throw an error. Okay. Um, next function we have is the reverse uh, sorry next method is the reverse method uh, really simple method and it does exactly as um, as you would expect if I call it and now look at my list you can see it says 421 instead of 124 now let's just reverse it again if you look oops, uh, there we go you can see there it says uh, l dot reverse dash dash reverse and then it has in place between asterisks basically what that means is it doesn't return a value it uh, as you can see here when I ran it it didn't nothing popped up below it like uh, when I called pop something popped up below which was the number that had been removed uh, remove doesn't return anything it just edits the list in place if I did this thing with the remove method you would see it would say in place by the end of it and that's the same with reverse as well let me just show you with remove now oh it doesn't actually say it but it it obviously edits it in place because nothing's been returned here you can see nothing flashes up the idle doesn't show any return value Okay. now the final function oh, method we're going to look at is um. Oh, sorry, uh, actually, there's just one thing. Because reverse doesn't um, return anything, if you wanted to create a new list, say my list 2 equals, and then you did my list dot reverse, that wouldn't return a value, and my list would be reversed, and my list 2, if I put print at the foot, beginning of it, it would contain none because my list dot remove the, sorry my uh, the reverse method doesn't return anything so if I call my list dot reverse again just to change it back to normal uh, there is there are two ways to do this you can either assign my list equal to my list two equal to my list the list okay and I'll talk to you why I'm slicing it rather than I'm just um, what rather than just saying my list I'm saying my list the whole thing as a slice I'll tell you about that in a sec but for now then you can just say my list dot reverse okay and then my list 2 is reversed but my list remains the same okay uh, now the reason I used a slice um, of my list rather than just saying it equals my list is because in Python uh, it's a bit weird and um, if I said my list two is equal to my list, what that would actually give me was two variables referencing the same object. Okay, um, that's just how Python works. Uh, it's just the way it, it's been coded to uh, run. So if I did, let me show you this. If I did, um, okay, my list two. Uh, let's say it equals none first. So at the moment we've got my list two contains nothing, and my list contains the list like we had in the first place. If I say my list two equals my list, then I say my list two dot reverse. My list two has a reversed list, and my list has a rev whoops that was my list my list 2 again my list has a reversed list as well um, the reason being is because when you say my list 2 is equal to my list you're assigning 